Hi, in this video we will discuss logarithms. A logarithmic function is an inverse of exponential function. Being able to work with logarithms is essential in mathematics, so it is important that you know how to work with them. Now here's the definition of a logarithm and some properties that you will need to know in order to solve them. Recall that the definition of a logarithm is where y equals to log base b of x if and only if b to the y is equal to x, where b is larger than 0 but not equal to 1 and x is larger than 0. Some common conventions for logarithms are log x stands for log base 10 of x and natural log of x stands for log base e of x, where e is 2.71828. Also, keep in mind that natural log of x can also be read as ln x or ln x. Some important properties of logarithms are log base b of b to the x equals to x, log base b of 1 equals to 0, log base b of b equals to 1, b to the power of log base b of x is equal to x. The corresponding properties for natural logarithms are natural log of e to the x is equal to x, natural log of 1 is equal to 0, natural log of e is equal to 1, e to the power of natural log of x is equal to x. In our first example, we are asked to convert from exponential to logarithmic form. We have 6 squared equals to 36 and e to the power of 0 equals to 1. Since 6 squared equals to 36, it follows that log base 6 of 36 equals to 2. And since e to the power of 0 equals to 1, it follows that log base e of 1 will equal to natural log of 1 which is just 0. So, in conclusion, we have log base 6 of 36 equals to 2 and natural log of 1 equals to 0. In this example, we are asked to convert from logarithmic to exponential form. We have log base 10 of 0 0.1 equals to negative 1, log base 4 of 64 equals to 3, and log base 3 of 1 over 27 equals to negative 3. We will start with log base 10 of 0 0.1 equals to negative 1, which means 10 to the power of negative 1 equals to 0 0.1. Then for part b we have log base 4 of 64 equals to 3, means 4 cubed equals to 64 and log base 3 of 1 over 27 equals to negative 3 means 3 to the power of negative 3 equals to 1 over 27. So, in conclusion, we have 10 to the power of negative 1 equals to 0 0.1, 4 cubed equals to 64, and 3 to the power of negative 3 equals to 1 over 27. Whenever the quantities are defined, we have the following laws of logarithms. Log base b of m times n equals log base b of m plus log base b of n, the logarithm of a product. Log base b of m over n equals log base b of m minus log base b of n, the logarithm of a quotient. Log base b of m to the n equals n times log base b of m, the logarithm of a power. Log base b of x equals log base a of x over log base a of b, the change of base formula. In our third example, we are asked to evaluate each expression. We have log base 4 of 2 plus log base 4 of 1 over 16, log base 2 of 80 
minus log base 2 of 5, and 1 over 3 times log base 2 of 8. The solution for part A will begin by using one of the logs to combine them and get log base 4 of 2 times 1 over 16, which is just log base 4 of 1 over 8. Then we have log base 4 of 8 to the power of negative 1, which can be written as log base 4 of 2 to the power of negative 3. Then we have log base 4 of root 4 to the power of negative 3, which is log base 4 of 4 to the power of negative 1.5, which simplifies to be just negative 1.5. In part B, we will also combine and get log base 2 of 80 over 5, which will simplify to be log base 2 of 16, which is just 4. For part C, we will use another law of logarithm to get log base 2 of 8 to the power of 1 over 3. After simplifying, we get log base 2 of 2, which will just be equal to 1. In this example, we are asked to combine the expression of 4 log base e of x plus 1 plus 3 times natural log of x minus 3 times log base e of x plus 1 into a single logarithm. We will begin our solution by first simplifying and getting log base e of x plus 1 to the power of 4 plus log base e of x cubed minus log base e of x plus 1 cubed. Then, we will combine the expression into log base e of x plus 1 to the power of 4 times x cubed divided by x plus 1 cubed. Then, the x plus 1 cubed will be cancelled out and we will get log base e of x plus 1 times x cubed. Then, we have log base e of x to the power of 4 plus x cubed, which is just natural log of x to the power of 4 plus x cubed. So, in conclusion, we have natural log of x to the power of 4 plus x cubed. In our last example, we are asked to solve for x from the equation log base 9 of x minus 5 plus log base 9 of x plus 3 equals to 1. We will start by first combining and getting log base 9 of x minus 5 times x plus 3 equals to 1. Then we will get the exponential form of 9 equals to x minus 5 times x plus 3, which is just 9 equals to x squared minus 2x minus 15. Then we will get 0 equals to x squared minus 2x minus 9 which is just x squared minus 2x minus 24. Then, by factoring, we will get 0 equals to x minus 6 times x plus 4. So, we get x equals to 6, or x equals to negative 4. In conclusion, since x equals to negative 4 is not in the domain, our answer will only be x equals to 6. We have reviewed the properties and laws of logarithms and gone through a variety of examples. As you may have already noticed, logarithms and exponents are closely related, and having a good grasp on both of these topics is important. Now, here are some practice questions.